Now I'm going to do working drawing using this male template again. And again, I've gone over the lines to make them a little bit blacker, be easier to see through the paper. And I'm going to use this quite see-through sheet of paper. This is very similar to layout pad. It's just a slightly cream color. And this time I'm going to work on a more complicated garment. So I'm going to work on a jacket on the top half of the body. Okay, so that should be good. So I am going to again work in pencil and then I'm going to ink up afterwards in a selection of 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. So I've got this center line down the center of the body again guiding me. I'm going to try and make the right and the left as accurate or as close to each other as I possibly can. So I've drawn a line in here called back neck collar. So with a collar, we have what would be known as the back neck part of it or the part that sits in the back of your neck. You then have the inside collar or the collar that goes along the inside of the neck. And then you have the outer collar that can be any shape you want. So most collars, and this is going to be a jacket, will come to roughly this height. So I'm going to draw a line across the back here representing that back collar. It's probably gone a little bit wide. So the collar stand is the shape that the collar is standing from the point that sits on the shoulder up to this point. So I'm going to make it very typical. So it's going to go down at an angle like this. Okay, so they're close enough to each other. Next is to draw the inside shape of the collar here. So this is a typical jacket. It's going to overlap, I would say, to about this point. So sometimes I find it handy to draw a point in. And I am going to go for the right collar first of all. This line here shouldn't touch. It begins to look like an envelope if you go really, really... Um, close in here. So I'm going to leave a slight gap deliberately down to this point. I've put a slight curve on it. Same story on this side, but because we're overlapping left to right, I'm going to go over the center here because the buttons go in the middle and the overlap goes past that point. So starting here, I'm going to overlap through this point, past, and then I'm going to come straight down I'm not going to make it too long. Um, so I'll decide about here is about good. Slightly wiggly. I can fix that hopefully later. And I'll bring this line out. So I'm going to put maybe one, two, three, four buttons on it. So now really I'm going to design the outside of the collar and then I can finish the inside neck. So for a typical Revere collar, it'll probably come down at an angle like this. Probably that line will come like this. Often... An angle comes out like that and then this comes down and again here we want it similar to here we don't want these lines to touch so I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to stop just before I get to the end so same story I'm about this height here the line that comes down to here and then from here I'm going to go out and into about here so that's like a very typical collar, but I need to know again the height of it. So this line coming up from the shoulder is coming across the back. So it's very similar to this line here that's designed for t-shirts. So we need to draw in that back neck collar. So that completes the um, basic collar shape. So next I look at the shoulders. So we're gonna work with the shoulders that are here. Um, with a jacket, it tends to be quite fitted on the shoulder, but it wouldn't be really fitted here typically. It would need to come out a little bit. So starting on this side here, I'll come reasonably straight down. And again, I want to have a slight overlap here. So the piece that overlaps onto the piece below should go slightly longer. So I'll come in here slightly lower. Same story here. I'm going to come down to about here. And then I need to put on the sleeves. So I'm going to work with the one on this side. I'm going to work with this angle. So coming down to here. And again, a lot of people make the mistake. They go right in really tight. Jackets aren't as tight as we think they are. So I need to decide on a point, maybe about here, to bring that sleeve down. Okay. And again, on this line, we try not to crop it straight off. So we want a slight curve on it. So it feels a little bit more 3D. So where I've marked here, I want to find a very similar point over here to work towards. Um, you could decide to use a ruler or another sheet of paper. So I could place a sheet of paper here. So that looks fairly accurate. Happy enough with that. And I'm going to draw the line down on this side and attach here and round off the bottom. So typically with a male jacket then we tend to have pockets so a lot of people tend to draw them too much in the middle but again this is around the body so I think that the pocket would sit maybe even right over to the side here 
So I'm going to round this off slightly here and sometimes they even tend to stand out a little bit on the side but don't overly exaggerate that it will just help it to be a little bit more 3D. So I've got this line across here handy for making it um, symmetrical. Okay out a little bit too far I'll, I'll amend that one when I'm inking it. Okay and I've been distracted by this line here as my center of course this is the center here so this one just needs to be a little bit bigger. Okay, and I can fix that when I'm inking up. And then a lot of the time on a menswear jacket, so we've got the center of the chest here, but it tends to be, uh, there tends to be a dart. So the dart goes parallel to the side. So I'm gonna do the same on this side, roughly the same distance in, parallel to the side, which means a very slight curve. And it's these slight things that makes it seem more realistic. So again, a collar typically goes onto a collar facing or a back neck facing. It tends not to be straight across in most men's jackets. And we don't wanna to draw too many lines in so we get confused. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a slightly rounded back neck facing here. And most of the time in a menswear jacket, we have a pleat in the lining at the back. So rather than drawing a line straight down, a pleat or a tuck tends to have a little hooky mark on it like that. And that would need to be inked up in tiny, tiny pen. So to ink this one up, I'll ink it up and then I can trace it off at the back. We're looking at, this is a seam, so that's point one. This is a seam, point one. This we hardly want to see it, so that's a point one. This is of course creating a shadow. So I think a point five here would be good. But again, this is a seam from here to here. So point one for that little seam bit would be good. Um, this is an overlap here. So we're looking at point five. Typically for everything else, we'll go where we're done with where we're being specific, we'll do point three. This is a seam, which is point one. This is a seam, point one. This is an overlap. So we're looking at a point five because it's a shadow. Point three for everything else. Point three, point three. This is a seam, so that's point one and point one. So I'll just give that a go. I'm gonna start with a point threes. So it feels safest going with your point three. So point three for the collar, back neck, and the outline down as far as here. I am deliberately making this slightly wider. It got a little bit too upright there. So I'm just gonna fix as I ink. So that's point three. This would be a point three here. Point three down as far as here. This is a point three. Um, I turn the page if I find it awkward. I find it easier to draw a straight line if I turn it. So it is much easier for me to draw straight down towards myself. I find it very hard to go across. So experiment with that yourself. Okay, again, I've altered that slightly. Um, I was beginning to feel a little bit low. Okay, and that tiny difference here being slightly lower than that, these really make big differences um, when you're working. Now, I know that this is gonna make a shadow here, but I think if I go 0.5 here, it's gonna get confusing if I go 0.5 on the inside as well. So I'm just gonna make a decision here and I'm gonna go 0.3. Again, don't join this line. Okay, so we'll try that. And then I'm gonna do the point ones, slightly less scary than the point threes. So that's a point one. Point one, this one here is a point one. So I've curved this a little bit more. It was beginning to look a bit straight. Point one, point one, this one here is. Okay, so I think that's all the point ones. So the point five. Okay, so point five here is going to be down this outer shape of the collar and into the seam there and then down into here. Same on the other side. So I've changed the shape here. I just need to take care. OK, 
Okay, this one here got a little bit shorter, so I've deliberately made this one here a little bit shorter too. So that's all of the point fives. And the last thing then, I forgot the buttons on the point three. Okay, so I'll just give it about 30 seconds there to dry. Nothing worse than when you think you're done and then you go and smudge the ink. So I'll just remove this sheet from underneath so it's less confusing. Okay. So again, HB pencil is a really good weight of pencil. It rubs out quite nicely. If you go for softer than that, 2B, something like that, it tends to smudge all over the page. And if you go for harder, it tends to make indentations. Okay, so there is my front menswear jacket. And in order to do the back, I am going to fold the sheet of paper over. And again, for your back view, if you flip this jacket over, it's got the exact same shape as the front, just what we call this internal information is missing. So in terms of the outline, back neck is the same, collar stand is the same, shoulder is the same, sleeve. Now I'm just thinking probably for a nice fit of jacket, it would have been a two piece. So I'm gonna put in a second seam here on the back okay a bit squiggly i'll correct that there when i'm inking So roughly the same height up here. Then that little trick with the sheet of paper can be handy because it's quite hard to judge sometimes where those lines are balanced with each other. I can make a mark here that I'm aiming towards. Whoops. Okay, and for the bottom, I'll just do one smooth line across. So for the back neck collar, again, I'm going to match this line up at the top and that line should go the same depth or height as this line the whole way across. So it'll typically line up the shoulders. Typical male jacket will have a center back line. Now, I think I'm gonna go back to my template for that. So if I line this back up here, it's centered. So this here will give me a reliable center back line. And again, because I've put tiny darts into the front, I'm gonna make the same decision on the back. Don't go too close to the center. I know this template has center chest points here. You really want to bring it a little bit further out towards the side. So I'm gonna to decide to follow this shape at the side. This is a very subtle curve and the same on this side. So double check, they're the same. What you can do if you find this a challenge, and this is another good tip for you, is when you have your center back line, if you're finding that you struggle, if you fold it in half, once you've inked up, you should be able to see, you can just about see that line coming through there. And it's a great way to double check uh, that the lines are even. Okay, so that just needs to go a little bit further down. If they're not the same, I can fix them when I'm inking. So I'm happy enough with that, although I was hoping to put in uh, little buttons on the back here because often people draw them front and back. So again, the fabric here would wrap around. The buttons would typically go one, two, three. And then we just need to have that little step here so that this looks slightly shorter. And the same story here, I'll go one, two, three. And up here. So when I ink, point one, point one. Actually, I'm gonna put a little um, vent in the back here as well. So again, we're following that same sort of law left over right so this is the right this is the left so the left is going to come around and sit over the right so that means this here will be slightly longer and this here will be slightly shorter in the center at least an event would typically get sewn off at an angle so i'll be putting some dots there so this here will be a slight gap and that will be a 0.5 0.1 Point 0.3 for almost everything else, point 0.1 for a seam, point 0.3 for the outside, because this is going to make a shadow, point 0.5. And of course, we have a little vent opening here, so that'll be point 0.5 in that small area there. So to ink that side up then, I've got the three. Again, I'll start with the point 0.3. It feels a little bit safer. Point 0.3, point 0.3, point 0.3, point 0.3. Point 0.3. 
slight little step here. Point three. Okay, so these little steps really make a huge difference when the working drawing is finished. So now I'm going to do the point ones again. This is slightly less uh, scary. So this would be the two um, arm seams. So I'm going to do these two piece sleeve lines here. Okay, so I'll try and do the same over here. Okay, so if you go wrong on one, just go wrong on the other. Hopefully I'll get away with it. I'll know in a minute. And the two darts. If I do the left one first, I should be able to copy then a little bit better on the right. And I'm going to finish up then with the 0.5. Oh, except I missed this one at the back. So I'll do 0.5 first. So 0.5 is here. Doing it twice because it didn't seem very obvious. So I've got that little vent down here. I have a vent here at the back and I have a little vent there so I just forgot that point one down the center back and the little top stitches okay so I'll just give that about a few seconds I'll start to rub out on the Darts. Ah, I forgot the buttons. Okay. So I'll just add the, in the buttons there where I'm done. I've just erased them. So the buttons would be a point three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that is the back jacket. So I'm just going to separate the two and put them side by side. 